Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So most of you realize that I am on the road and I'm doing all my video editing on my laptops and my phone, uh, live streaming essentially on my phone. So I'm, uh, I'm here in New York City. I'm visiting my parents. Also, I'm visiting, uh, I visited uh, Rex Shear's event yesterday and it was such a great event. I want to talk a little bit about it, uh, uh, you know, uh, first of all, I want to thank you, uh, Team Rex Shear, the executive, the, the CEO. I met every one of them who are amazing, uh, amazing people. Uh, it, it's one of the best experiences of my life. And for those who don't know this and you don't realize this, is that I've been in the military my whole life, 18 years old until now. I mean, it's, you know, that's, that's my world. That's all I know. And the first time that I shook hands uh, with uh, somebody uh, in finance was yes, yesterday, last night with Rex Shears. So uh, just think about it, that's crazy. That's like meeting a doctor for the first time. Uh, you know, obviously as a military guy, I mean, you meet tons of doctors, but, uh, but I, it's just, it's just two different world. I, military background, military trainings, military my whole life. And then now you are, you essentially in New York City, meeting people who work in the stock market, and uh, when you meet, you know, it, it's just crazy how uh, that uh, you know I've come this far. It's just you know, it, it's just been unbelievable. So I want to say thank you. Um, my, um, I have, you know, I came in not knowing anything about investment and stuff like that. And for those who been following me from the very beginning, my journey. Uh, really, you know, it's for selfish reason to answer the first question, the fundamental flaws with military retirement. And uh, because, you know, I, I can't withdraw my money. I put my money into the fund, and why can't I withdraw my retirements? Uh, I had to wait until I'm 59. So it, it's just crazy. It's my money, and I can't do anything until a certain age. And, uh, and so that's where my pursuit is. I was trying to find an answer. And I, I, I put YouTube video together, and next you know there's a whole community, and we start talking about investment, and uh, we're talking about different journey. So what happened uh, is that somewhere down the line, I realized that I, I really don't need the government for, to do my retirement plans. I can do it myself. I can invest myself, I can make money, and I can essentially be rich just doing it myself. And that's what this journey is. Uh, so I, I you can... And so, uh, in, in result, I, I, meet, I met a lot of amazing people in YouTube. Also, of course, I met a lot of toxic people too. And we just banned them. That's, that's the end of the day, we just banned them. Uh, for whatever reason, high yield dividends invite a lot of toxic people. I have no idea. But my gut feeling is it didn't matter what I talk about. I could be talking about comic books and toxic people will be out there. So it's regardless what the conversation is. Um, somebody's not gonna not gonna be happy about uh, about uh, your investment strategy. So uh, what I always tell people is that you do you, we do ours. So and and I just been pursued in this direction. So high yield dividends is is very niche. It's very small. It's new. Uh, we I, we started this journey January of 2023, and you know prior to that, high yield was essentially Jep P, J E P I, Jep Q. And uh, not, a, you know, you essentially getting thirty cents uh, on your dividends. You know, that's pretty much it. But you know, when I started this journey, I'm I'm very blessed. I'm very lucky. Uh, we have Tesla, uh, we have OLK, we have Clip. You know, and OLK is not really that high, but it was high back then. And um, those are my three choices. So I, my, I started investing in them. Uh, I started reading more about them. I started studying them, analyzing them, and uh, start asking a lot of questions. And I meet other YouTubers like Retired Dividends, Max, Casey, and all these people, and start having more conversation, watch other people. And then what, what happened is you realize that we, we essentially hit a gold mine. And uh, we know how to make money, we know how to invest, and we are doing really, really well. I started this journey with zero dollar, and now I'm making $7,000 a month on my way to $10,000 a month by the end of the year. And, and there's nothing stopping me to get to $20,000 a month. So you literally, there's nothing out there can stop me uh, because I'm continuing, uh, that this thing is self-invest now. I don't have to put money in it and everything. Um, yeah, so that's, that's essentially my journey. And But yesterday, I get to meet Rex Shears. 
I went to the uh, closing bell and uh, closed the bell with uh, with the ex uh, the team there from Rexier. What an awesome experience! Love it. I love it. Uh, I'll tell you, one of the most professional people. Like I said, I have never met a single finance person up to this point, and and man, they're the most professional people I ever met. Uh, they're so generous. They're so kind. Uh, you know, it, it's just crazy. It, it's just so fun. It's like it's essentially uh, meeting myself. You know, <laughs> like I feel like I've met myself because uh, curiosity. They they, they just want to know. They want to learn. They want to meet people. And uh, you know, even it, it just it was like everything is is a smile. It was excitement. It was it was just crazy. Uh, and then and uh, I really appreciated it. Uh, it was uh, I the whole event. Uh, I didn't record. I only record. That's what is public. You know, like what's going to be on TV. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm I'm a marine officer. I'm not a, a YouTube. I, I make YouTube video. But you know, uh, I'm a I'm a military guy, and uh, and you know, so I, you know, I, I don't know how to be a YouTuber. So I guess if I was a YouTuber, I would have put a camera there and talked to everyone the whole time because I'm trying to get clicks, I'm trying to get subscribers, I'm trying to get viewers and all stuff. If you've been following my channel, I literally tell people don't subscribe to my channel. Is that crazy? How many YouTubers say that? Uh, uh, I'm one of the very few. I just tell people don't subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe to my channel, we the people who subscribe to my channel are truly my friends and families and and people who want to wants to learn about high yield dividends. They truly want to make money and they truly want they truly want to get out of the situation they're in. All right. Bottom line is this: if you don't make changes in your life, tomorrow will be the same as today and it will be the same as yesterday. So if you don't like your job, if you're not happy, you have to do something. You have to do something. If you don't do something, I can promise you one thing: tomorrow will be the same as today. All right? It will be the same. And so, and um, and so, if you're that type, you know, if you want to make changes and you want to improve your quality of life, uh, that's the people who subscribe to my channel, and and we talk about these things, and I can go into detail and help out and stuff like that. But you know, uh, and and explain. All I can do is explain, and I get somebody else to explain, and and meet other people. That's really our YouTube channel. I'm not an expert. I'm not a guru. I never went to school for this stuff. Uh, you know, not licensed in this stuff. And uh, you know, I you know, I never even take course in this stuff. So just think about it. Never sit in a cubicle. Uh, don't wear suit for you know for a living. So as a result, I I'm coming from a fresh set of mind. I'm asking questions. And what I do is I, I have debate and conversation. So if you watch my YouTube channel, you'll see that uh, majority of the time there's people in my Discord and we have a conversation about a particular fund, a figure ETF, a figure investment strategy, style, and stuff like that. That is the beauty of my channel. We just talk about that. And, uh, and um, yeah, so it, it's great. Um, uh, oh, man, the, uh, the after the bell ring, uh, well, we got our pictures in uh, on Times Square. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that is really cool. I'll tell you, uh, I can't wait to see my mom and my dad and show them this picture. They're gonna be like, "Oh my god!" And uh, like, it's it's different. I showed it to a whole bunch of my friends, uh, and uh, they were just excited for me. You know, uh, and it's just great. I I have no aspirations uh, to work in Wall Street. I have no aspiration to work or to become an investor. Uh, investing banker or whatever you know mutual fund and uh, you know stocks I have no aspiration you know in doing this stuff. my aspiration is take off my uniform go to the beach and drink pina colada so that's that's my aspiration not to work uh, and so so uh, it, it was great uh, I mean if I was in my 20 man I probably would change career because it looked like it's fun I don't know it just looked fun um, you know, to to work in in uh, this this type of field so I, I enjoyed that at the uh, the drinking, the socialization. It was a lot of fun. I met a lot of technology people. A lot of I met a lot of lawyers. That's kind of strange. Uh, I met a lot of uh, marketing people, uh, and it's crazy. Uh, just just different people. I, I didn't realize what it takes to run an ETF. Uh, at the end of the day, you know what I read somewhere that you need about fifty million dollars uh, in order to determine. If the ETF is successful, and um, 
you know, to like, I don't know, I don't know where they get the number. I read that, so I, I just, you know, I just accepted it as a, uh, as a standard. Uh, yeah, I can see why. I can see why it's gonna be very expensive when you have to hire a whole bunch of people who choose to help you run the ETF. So uh, I can see. Uh, so there's a lot of, lot of, lot of interesting people, and uh, but I'll, I'll tell you, I want to say, I want to thank you to Scott and and all the executive team. You guys are the most professional people I met. I, I literally, it, it, like every single person I met, I feel like I was meeting me for the first time. Like if this was a military unit and uh, and we were in the military, uh, I would love to hire every one of those people. I mean, because they're smiley, friendly, uh, they're approachable, they, you know, they, it, it just, uh, customer service is unbelievable. Uh, and and uh, I, I can't I can't speak enough of it. It's just you guys are just so unbelievable, uh, unbelievable, un uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, I learn a lot. And yeah, I uh, you, you guys always welcome to our hangout Discord. For those who don't know, they've been in our Discord uh, multiple times. Uh, they they love you know they they hang out here. What I tell all of them, same thing. I tell Yale Max. I tell anybody who. Uh, in this line of work, come hang out on Discord, interact with the Discord members, and have conversation. You can be literally fly on the wall. You don't even use real name. I, I, I recommend they don't use their real name and just listen to the conversation. Uh, we do live streaming every Sunday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then, uh, and then we do this weekly conversation, uh, daily conversation, not weekly, uh, right after work. So from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. until it's done. So that's a daily discussion that we talk about. Uh, so I always welcome a any, um, you know, fund managers out there. And you, like I said, you can just come in anonymous and talk to the grassroots people, talk to the people that actually own your fund. We have some people just start out brand new, uh, college students to guys who work as a truck driver, warehouse, uh, Walmart, uh, Chinese restaurants, uh, parking lot attendants, all the way to guys who make millions of dollars, super rich, making thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars a month uh, of of you know your investment. You you got range of all kind of people uh, here in our Discord. But one thing I can tell you that everyone in our Discord they want to be here and they want to talk about high yield dividends and they want to talk about dividends in general. They want to make money. And and they're gonna they they're curious they want to know and that's why and um, and so and there's people from all over the you know all the world that want to ask you a question too so uh, it's very international too uh, yeah so yeah you're always welcome uh, love to have you and like I said you can be anonymous and uh, and you know and yeah uh, it's great. Um, Okay, so the two common questions that people ask me, and I did ask Scott uh, this question. One is the t-shirt, uh, like when are you gonna get the t-shirt? So I actually talked to the t-shirt person, uh, the person who actually mailed the t-shirt, you know. Uh, yes, uh, you know, they're, um, they're doing that. They're, they're mailing out, they're doing that. And retired dividend, they actually fix your t-shirt, your t-shirt specifically. I asked about that and they fix your t-shirts. And uh, so you should get the right side. And uh, so everybody, a t-shirt is coming. Uh, the second question is, uh, you know, what happened to the single stock rec share question? You know, like people ask, what happened to the single stock, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, for rec share? Uh, you know, they, uh, th the short answer is that, you know, they're focusing on uh, FEPI, F-E-P-I. And uh, so it's just not the right time at, right now. That's the short answer. Uh, he gave me a very good answer, but I'm just trying to summarize what he said, and I don't want to misquote him. Obviously, we didn't record. I didn't do YouTube things. I didn't ask him the question with a camera on and stuff like that. Uh, because, you know, like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a military guy who have a YouTube video and talking about investment. So, uh, you know, so it, it's not important for me to get clicks or get numbers, subscriber, and all that stuff. I just want to have a genuinely man-to-man uh, -man conversation. And, uh, and so... The bottom line answer is their their priority and focus is on uh, you know on the fund they have right now and uh, and that that's it and um, so uh, we're excited for it whenever whenever they're ready. Uh, a lot of us, uh, well, a lot of us because of yield max, we we invest a lot in single stock type ETF, uh, single stock uh, cover call strategy that yield max does and. Um, 
And so that's why we, we always ask that question, like, hey, when does Rexia come out? And the reason why we want Rexia to come out is to create competition, because Yield Max have no competition right now. And when you have competition, it, uh, it will give us diversity of choices uh, where to put our money. And that's, that's the reason why our community asks for the single stocks. Uh, uh, we talk about other type of fund too, um, and there's a new fund, uh, FEPI, uh, Rexia is coming out, it's in uh, that, that uh, you know, it's in SEC filing right now, and uh, it's, it's, he's excited about that, so I can't wait to come out, uh, I can't wait to talk about it, and somebody talk about it, we'll stop talking about it too. Uh, so there's, there's tons of uh, energy on this uh, stuff. Uh, so I am rooting uh, for Rexia. I, I I can't wait for them to be big, bigger, and uh, be more successful. I'm telling you, they they uh, they are hitting jewel in this in this community. So uh, they will they will. I mean, I can see it. I can I can see that their future their future is is going to be amazing. Uh, so keep up the good work, uh, Team Rexia. And you guys do amazing. I'm very, very proud of you. I'm very happy. Uh, uh, thank you for the invite. Just think, just think about this. Uh, there's thousands of YouTubers. There's you know thousands of Twitters, uh, and I, I get the opportunity to be up there. So it just it just tells you a lot about uh, who they are. You know. So hey, uh, thank you so much. And um, and that's pretty much it. I want to share this thought process and. Uh, and I can't wait to talk to the community. I mean, it's right now it's like five in the morning, but <laughs> but I can't wait to talk to the community uh, about this subject. Uh, you know, with everyone, um, you know, uh, doing our live streaming. So, uh, hey, take care, everyone. Peace out.